Hey guys, we're going to call it, talk about clotting today. So in clotting, what happens is, let's say you got a cut. And when you get this cut, you have a hole in your, your vessels, your, um, your blood vessels. And what happens is things can flow out of your blood vessel. But this is bad, and we don't want that to happen. So what our body does is it wants to close off this, this area. And there's two ways in which your body does this. It does this through a platelet plug, which is consisting of platelets and fibrinogen. And then the second thing is going to be a fibrin mesh work, which is a little bit more permanent, which allows your blood vessels to heal itself. Now, a really quick thing to talk about fibrinogen is that fibrinogen is the precursor to fibrin. So we need to talk about this process. And in this video, we're only going to talk about the first process of how the platelet plug happens. And then afterwards, we will talk about the clotting cascade and how the fiber mesh work is, um, is utilized. So what happens? When you have some sort of damage to your blood vessels, something is exposed. And that thing that is exposed is collagen. And um, what you close this thing off with is usually with platelets. Platelets are, are formed in your bone marrow, and they're always in your blood. And they're flying around, and then they get activated. They get activated by collagen, and they make this nice sh thin sh sheet of platelets on this collagen. So let's talk about this process. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to make a little platelet. I'm going to have um, my collagen mesh, mesh work. And on this collagen is this protein called von Willebrand factor. And von Willebrand factor on the collagen is going to help your platelets to anchor onto this collagen fiber. That's what makes this initial kind of small layer of platelets. So I'm going to call this adhesion. So this platelet, and as other platelets, they're going, to comp uh, they're going to bind to von Willebrand factor using this receptor called GP1B. GP1B will, will bind with von Willebrand factor to adhese platelets to the collagen. And a lot of these platelets will do this. So you're, you're not going to have only one, you're going to have more than one of these platelets, and they're all going to be formed this nice long sheet of platelets. However, one sheet of platelets is not enough. You really need more than that. So you need platelets to call in other platelets so that they can also have some action and make a bigger plug so that things don't leak out. So what they do is platelets will have to signal other platelets to come to them. So these things are going to be serotonin, thromboxanes, and then finally ADP. These things will get other platelets to be activated too. So these things will go and activate other platelets so that you can have more than one layer of platelets and you can have several layers of platelets. So let's talk about this. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is going to be um, aggregation. So aggregation is a process in which the platelets are getting other platelets 
to stick it to each other. So once again, I'm going to draw my collagen. I have my layer of platelets. And then now another platelet comes in. And we need to somehow glue these platelets together and um, to, to make our plug. In order to do that, we need these platelets, when they're activated, they make this, this compound called fibrinogen. So they're going to produce fibrinogen. Every single one of these are going to produce a bunch of fibrinogen. And they need to attach this, this fibrinogen somehow. So I mean, it's not like they just put this thing out and um, they, it, it doesn't just, it's not just out there. They, they need to bind to it somehow. And in order to bind to it, they use this protein called GP2B and GP3A. And all these platelets will express these, um, these proteins on their surface, and they're going to bind onto this fibrinogen. Let me just label this so you have this fibrinogen. Remember that they're attached over here with fibrin factor. And then these guys will also make fibrinogen. And they're also going to make GP2B and GP3A. And these platelets will then aggregate all together. You can think of it as a brick. Like a brick house is made up with a whole bunch of bricks. And then these are like your platelets. They have fibrinogen that's kind of like the cement. And then the, the cement is what's keeping them held together. The last thing I'm going to talk about is, um, is how we get from this process of a platelet plug and how we get to a platelet plug into some sort of fibrin mesh work. And in order to make this fibrin mesh work, platelets will help you get there. So the last thing I'm going to talk about is called the secretion system. So in the secretion system, you have your platelets and your platelet has two secretion granules. And the first granule that it has is the alpha granule. The other granule that it has is called the dense granule. And then once again, it helps it go from the fibrin plug to the fibrin, the, the platelet plug into the fibrin meshwork. The, gran, the alpha granules are going to be consisting of mostly proteins. And then the dense granules are going to be non-proteins. And some of this is going to actually be review. So we have von Willebrand factor that's being made and this is the same, it, it's the same exact molecule as the von Willebrand factor that we saw in the collagen, except this one's going to be used for something else. So just watch out for these, this von Willebrand factor. It's used for the clotting cascade, which is going to be my next video. And it's going to also make fibrinogen. And we talked about that. So fibrinogen was our, um, our cement. And then when we talk about the dense granules, the dense granules will be calcium. And then this is something we have to talk about in clotting cascade. And we also have ADP. Remember what ADP does? ADP activates other platelets. And then we also have serotonin. And then we talked about serotonin before, it also activates other platelets. So what we need to talk about in our next video is going to be how it goes from a platelet plug into a fibrin meshwork, which is a more permanent fix.